How a freaking bunga, everybody. Hey there, guys. This is Flamzeron, a.k.a. YouTube's Tusk, and I'm really fucking pumped about this game. Uh, this was a very nice surprise. I saw this. Um, I might have been at work, or I don't remember when I saw this, but I remember I was all like, oh, I gotta watch this trailer as soon as I get a free minute. But, uh, yeah, um, this new game by .emu, or however you say it, in Tribute Games... I've got the Gamatsu article open, which I'll have in the link in the description for those who want to read it. But basically, a new Ninja Turtles game was announced. What's that game called, you might be wondering? Well, it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It's a, uh, it's basically TMNT4. <laughs> or, TM no, TMT5. Tech. Yeah, because Turtles in Time is uh, known as uh, TMNT4, I believe. Um... Wouldn't this technically be Team and T Thick because the Hyperstone Hyth on the Sega Genesis? <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, this is basically a new old school 2D side scrolling Ninja Turtles beat em up, which this is something that I've kind of wanted for a while, uh, just on the grounds of I just want another one. <laughs> it was one of the things where I kind of forgot I wanted it because the Ninja Turtles, before Dragon Ball, the Turtles were like my big thing. Um, if. Dragon Ball and the Tales of series were like my two favorite franchises. Um, then back in the day when I was a kid, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mortal Kombat were my two favorite franchises when I were a kid. And I still love them today. Um, and I'm really glad that the Turtles have kind of gotten a resurgence a little bit with kind of uh, all the stuff that's been going on, mainly in the comics. Uh, I, I have been reading The Last Aronian, but I'll get to that later. Anyway, uh, so... We don't have a release date, or we don't really know what specific consoles, though they do know that it's coming to consoles and PC. I'm guessing probably PS4, Switch, Xbox One, maybe even PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. I think colloquially it's just called Xbox Series. Um, it'll be it'll probably get a little more confusing in the next generation when it's still just Xbox Series or whatever. But anyway, um, I'm really excited about this. We got a little snippet of gameplay. The trailer was mainly just a, a really nicely animated uh, trailer with a uh, cover of the theme song that was really dope. Um, and they showed April O'Neil fighting, which I found kind of strange. Uh, but uh, the uh, press release or whatever, or it's from the Steam page technically, but uh, they do note, that you'll be able to play as other characters. It seems like you're going to be able to play as other characters besides the Turtles, which I think is good because I'm sure there are plenty of fans out there who, while they love the Turtles, they also like, you know, your April O'Neil, your Splinter, your Shredder, even Casey Jones, all these other characters. Um, and since it's based on the cartoon, they might throw in Usagi Ojimbo and uh, some of these other uh, characters that maybe appeared in the cartoon. I do kind of hope they maybe take a little bit from the other stuff as well. I've actually gotten to where I sort of like, you know, the comic accurate or, like, more serious take on the Turtles. I, I still love the cartoon, though. Um, I'm really nostalgic for it. I still have my some of my old VHS tapes, and I have Season 3 on DVD. And uh, I have been playing Mutants in Manhattan a little bit, at least before uh, East 9 and stuff came out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've kind of gotten a, more interested in the Turtles again. I've gotten, like, this resurgence... Because, like I said, I've been reading uh, The Last Ronin. I've been picking up the Super 7 uh, TMNT Ultimates figures. But, yeah, t I'm, I'm getting kind of back into the Turtles. And I'm really glad that we got this game. Because playing, uh, particularly River City Girls, which I'm still kind of working on. like and That's kind of rekindled my interest in beat-em-ups. And I found that like I really just want to have a fun game that I can play. Ideally on PC, though I'm probably going to get this on PS4 unless... Uh, Unless everyone else I know gets it on either PC or Switch or whatever. Again, I'm pretty sure it's going to come on everything. I certainly hope this is game's uh, cross-platform because that would make things a lot easier, of course. If this game's good enough, I'll probably just buy it multiple times. <laughs> um, but we do at least know that it's coming to Steam. And it looks really fun and you know fast-paced. But yeah, like, like I was saying, with River City Girls and uh, Streets of Rage 4, and kind of with Dynasty Warriors, I found a little bit too. That's sort of more of like an evolution of the genre, I think. But I found that I really kind of crave like a good uh, beat-em-up game. Um, you know, the Kunio Kun games seem to kind of scratch that itch for a while. And of course, you know, uh, 
Streets of Rage 4, that's been nice. And there, I think there have been a couple other games that sort of came out. But I'm sort of glad that... Uh, that I'm, I'm glad that this game's a thing. It's going to be really fun to sort of see kind of how it turns out. Um, I look forward to, you know, playing it with everybody. And um, it's going to be a nice little fun sort of uh, trip down memory lane. Um, I'm definitely going to play as Raphael probably the most. I've got to where I like Leonardo as well. Um, the, the All the other turtles are pretty cool. Um, you know, it, it kind of depends on, you know, who I'm playing with. Because I imagine, you know, you've got three other people. Well, you know, two people might also want to play as Raphael. Or two people want, might want to be Leonardo. So I'll kind of play it by ear. But I do hope, again, that they include some other at least Casey Jones and April O'Neil apparently. Um, I don't know if they want to maybe throw in some of these other sort of like uh, crossover things. Um, maybe if they want, even if they want to throw in Venus from the Next Mutation or whatever it was called, um, car- uh, cartoon, <laughs> a live action series that, that wasn't a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the reason why people didn't like it. I kind of liked it back then, but I was a kid. Um, I want to throw her in her. I think her name's Janika, who's the new f- female uh, turtle. She's yellow, and she, she's she's a human who turned into a turtle, I believe. Um, if they want to put her in, that'd be fine. Or if they want to put in... It'd be funny if they put in Batman or one of the Power Rangers just to kind of go along with the uh, uh, with the uh, um, crossovers that have been going on in the comics. Because, uh, you know, they did the Batman one which they made a movie out of. And the Turtles and Power Rangers comic, I think, is going on at the moment. So that's kind of cool. Who knows? Maybe they'll do something with that. Again, we don't know too much about it. I imagine they'll probably show off more later on. Um, but, yeah, it, it looks really pretty and really fun, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing I think it's, it's going to be a blast. Um, that's definitely going to be like a... That might be an everyday kind of th- game kind of thing because these days I kind of just play on specific days, naming my days off. But you know, I try to, for certain games, I'll try to make you know a, make time every night or whatever to play them. And this might be one of those games. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward. This was a really nice surprise. Um, my only real concern is that given how this game seems to be marketed at the moment i'm wondering if it's going to be a digital only release which that's going to be a pain because then like well now i'm gonna have to go to limited run games limited run games takes a while um especially with the ps4 version i think because i think they have to kind of go through sony like licensing things to get that working um but we'll see you know i I have i got river city girls from them and you know streets of rage from them and i'm waiting on samurai jack um and I'm thinking about getting the last Mary Skelter game, just because I wanted. I've I've always wanted to play Mary Skelter, even though I'm not really a. I like dungeon crawlers, but I'm not really a fan of the Japanese dungeon crawlers, to where it's like first person and turn based. I kind of like the Diablo and the, and all that. Um, although I'm not, I I kind of don't really like dungeons because a lot of times they can be kind of overwhelming. But, we'll see. This game definitely looks really freaking fun, though. I'm, I'm, I, I want to see more gameplay pretty soon. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, beat 'em ups are kind of making a little bit of a comeback. Um, because growing up, they were always one of my favorite genres. Um, I always played, you know, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe on my Genesis. I, I wasn't really a Final Fight guy. Um, but I always played, you know, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. Those were always like my two games. I had the six pack, so I had both those games kind of built in on one cartridge. And uh, you know, Turtles in, when Turtles in Time, that was sort of like my first favorite like game of all time because like I was a huge cartoon guy, and I liked playing with action figures. And I was like, oh shit, I can play the cartoon, and because I'm playing it, it's almost like I'm playing with my action figures, and I don't have to like. There's actually like a real challenge to it. It's like you know so. I played Turtles in Time a heck of a lot. That was that was definitely one of my faves growing up, and I'm really glad to kind of see this uh, game become a thing because I've kind of wanted another Turtles game for a while. I think uh, Mutants in Manhattan was like the last one, besides like the mobile game. So, but it, and it's really cool that uh, we're getting another one for sure. So I feel like I'm kind of just repeating myself. I'm kind of gushing over this game, but this was a 
I was this was a really nice surprise. Uh, I might watch the trailer when I get done you know, recording this. I'm not really sure what else I can say to be honest. You know, at this point I'm just kind of gushing. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And like I said with the Samurai Wars one before, because I'm probably going to upload that one first since the news of that broke before this one. Uh, assuming the game probably has online play, which I feel like it probably should. Like, why would you not have on? There, there are plenty of people who are going to want to play this online. That would be like... That's, that's almost criminal if you, if you don't make this online. I'm sure there are pro- probably plenty of people that would want to play uh, Turtles in Time online. I'm still surprised we haven't gotten like an arcade-accurate port of that. Like, yeah, there's the uh, arcade one-up version that you can get, but, like, that's, like, a $300, you know, game because you're... It, I think it's emulated, but you're playing, like, a... You're playing a legit arcade game, whereas uh, this hypothetical Turtles in Time, you know, port would be on, like, PS4 and all that. And, you know, but who knows? This will definitely itch that... Uh, sc- or scratch that itch, um, for sure. And... Uh, I'm almost tempted to get this on PC because I, I kind of just want, like, a game that, like, while I'm chilling, I can just, like, load up and just, like, f- kill a few bad guys for a little bit and then, like, turn off. That's that's kind of the sort of game I, I'm sort of looking for a little bit. And this game seems to be a good option for that. I still want to kind of give it uh, the respect it deserves, so I'm probably going to get it on PS4. Um, if it's good enough, I might get it on other systems, but, you know... For now, I think just PS4. And if that means I have to end up waiting to play the game uh, due to limited run, then so be it. I feel like this game being what it is, though, with the franchise, I mean, this will probably get a regular release. I feel like it should. I really feel like it should. Um, I don't really see any reason why this game wouldn't be, you know, sold at retail. I feel like it really should. I'm just saying, like... Based on, you know, this pixel art sort of like it, it, it almost does kind of seem like an indie style, and I feel like this might be kind of an indie game. It's kind of hard to say, um, but I, I, I do hope that it comes out to retail. Uh, but either way, I'll still you know find a way to get a physical copy of the game, unless they just don't do one, which is possible. Um, but I feel like the Turtles are a big enough franchise to where they would warrant getting a physical release outside of using limited run games or strictly limited or whatever. But we'll see. Either way, um, I'll play it when it get, when I get it. Uh, definitely going to play as Raphael probably primarily. Um, and who knows, I might maybe even... I was going to say I might stream it. I don't know if I want to give you guys any ideas, but I'll say the possibility is there. I am thinking about streaming again soon, but... You know, we'll see. So I kind of have streaming on the mind, but it would actually be kind of fun to stream this and or play it online and stream it or whatever. We will see. But for right now, I'm not going to make any promises besides getting the game and play it. And like I said before, if it's online, we should definitely play together. But uh, if you all would like, at least. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is going to be friggin' awesome, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be really fucking cool. So... I'm going to go watch this trailer again, or at least watch the uh, part with the gameplay so I can gush more. (laughs) Um, And I assume you guys will probably do the same if you're interested, but, you know, who knows. But, alrighty, this is Flamesaronic, Yusuke signing out. See you later, and cow a fucking bunga.